the best thing to do the moment your husband lays his hand on you that very first time that's when you're supposed to show your action <laughs> Beat your own back. <laughs> this message is to mm -hmm. that like beating their wives. <laughs> I know there are some wives that beat their husband, but you know, most times we really hear of men that beat their wives. So this message is to them and to the ladies in particular. Right. You see situations where a lady is married to a man. Right, and when the man is angry, the only way he pours out his anger is by laying his dirty hands on his wife, hitting her, swollen face, swollen head, broken head, and things in that light. So, dear ladies, if currently you have a partner that eats you, right, the first thing I would say is that what did you do the very first time it started? So, my question is, what did you do the very first time it started? I was talking to an elderly folk. She's already married, right? So she said that the best thing to do, the moment your husband lays his hand on you, that very first time, that's when you're supposed to show your action. <laughs> oh my God. Beat your own back. <laughs> when she was telling me this, I was just laughing. I said, why? Uh, you say, really? That on no reason, for no reason should a man lay his fingers on you. <laughs> So the very first time it is starting is that same time you should discourage that activity that act for it never to occur again right so dear ladies see you know that's not my own advice right if you notice that your man or your woman because it happens in both parties is beating you please discourage that activity right if you feel like you can't retaliate back ensure that you guys talk about it involve it another party to it don't take it lightly whether it slaps you or it does anything physically that can hurt you ensure that you call a third party to it and make sure that that act is discouraged with a levy attached to it that if this occurs again this is what will happen right if this occurs again because most times when you encourage that activity and you don't talk and you feel like, oh, he's angry, that's why. He's... And when he came back, he just apologized and I can see the sincerity in his heart. I know he won't do it again. He's going to do it again or she's going to do it again. So in the moment that expose that activity, disgrace that particular activity, anyhow you know how to expose it, don't sweep it under the carpet. Don't. Don't even try to sweep it under the carpet. So this video is just to discourage any abuse physical abuse in a relationship of you either hitting your partner or anything in that light even when you are angry our advice if you can walk away from the from that situation at that time for you to so just cool off and come back please do that or maybe one person is angry just cool off walk out or just keep quiet and say nothing right then when every one of you are in a very good position where the old heat has calmed down you guys can talk about who is right or who is wrong but at that time when the anger is so hot please avoid confronting it at that time just allow it to cool off one person should be most likely quiet just allow it to cool off and when everything's on the way you guys can talk about the situation like matured people please say no to abuse or physical abuse hitting your wife with objects and you guys get another person injured in that when that activity is going on so please but remember the advice that woman said <laughs> hit your own back <laughs> oh my God. What another? anyway this is open to my anybody just it's open to you right now what's your advice when you're in a relationship where your husband is beating a, a husband is beating the wife or the wife is beating the husband please give me real practical solution to absolutely stop the activity not like for it to record to stop it permanently forever so if you have lasting solution please do well to use the comment section thank you so much and do well to use the link in the show box so for the friend class and to also buy courses that will be beneficial to you thank you so much and i'll see you in the bye for now